ever since Nintendo graciously gave us the ability to use Bluetooth headsets on the Switch, I've been trying to find a really good pair. The problem is it's really hard to find a pair that doesn't have a ton of latency. And even though I don't play competitive games, it's just, it's really hard to ignore that big audio DC. Even my AirPods that I really, really love are just god awful on the Switch. Well, thankfully, a company called Soundpeats reached out for me to try these. They're the Soundpeats Air 3s. And on the surface, they look like they're just AirPod knockoffs, but they have one feature built into them that I think makes them the perfect Switch earbuds. Now, as I mentioned, Soundpeats did send me these for review, but they won't see this video before it goes live. And if you want to pick up a pair for yourself, I'll have a link down in the description. For some quick specs, they are true wireless earbuds, have 14.2 millimeter drivers, they claim to have about 20 hours of playtime with the included charging case, and they have dual mics. Now they do come with a really good charging case. It's very similar to the AirPods, which I am a huge fan of. Now the only thing I'm not crazy about with this case is that it is a black gloss finish, so it's an absolute fingerprint magnet. But it does charge with USB-C, and the earbuds have a really secure connection, which honestly can be a huge gamble with a lot of these cheaper earbuds. I would honestly say they nailed the AirPods case formula to a T, minus the wireless charging, but for $50, I, I won't hold that against them. The earbuds themselves are very similar in shape to AirPods, and they fit almost identically to them. And thankfully, they made these in matte black, plus they have this little rose gold accent on the side, which I think looks really clean. Now, not surprising, they are loaded down with some gesture controls. You double tap to pause and play, single tap on the left to decrease volume, single tap on the right to increase volume, triple tap on the left to enable game mode. More on that in just a bit. Plus there's a bevy of other controls and just like the AirPods, this is my favorite feature that can actually detect when they're in your ears. Connecting to my Switch and my phone was pretty seamless after you do it for the first time. The first time you have to hold the button on the case, it puts it in pairing mode, the device recognizes it and boom, you're connected. After that, pretty much anytime you take these out of the case, put them in your ear, they instantly connect to your device. Also, the Bluetooth range on these is ridiculous. Like, I can connect these to my Switch, leave my Switch on the other side of the house, walk all the way down here, and not have a single bit of audio drop out. Let's go ahead and dive into audio performance. For music, I just think they're okay. Here, I would for sure prefer my AirPods. The bass is really well balanced, but overall, I just feel like they're kind of lacking in total soundstage. Now, they claim to have high-res audio on the package, I can't really tell it. Like the biggest thing I would say is if you're coming from some really cheap earbuds or something like that, you're gonna notice a difference. It's just not gonna blow your mind. Now past that, let's go ahead and talk about why I think these are so good for the Switch. As I mentioned, when you tap three times on the side, it switches over to what's called game mode. And basically this switches the Bluetooth frequency to a super, super low latency frequency. Now I'll be honest with you, I was really skeptical of this at first. I didn't think it would honestly make much of a difference at all. But comparing just standard Bluetooth to the game mode Bluetooth, it's a night and day difference. Now, I still wouldn't use these for anything competitive, but like grinding indies and other Switch titles is an absolute blast with these. First, the audio. Now, since they don't completely steal around your ears, the audio remains super balanced. Like I said, bass has a really good hit to it, but just overall environmental sounds come alive. So I decided to start a new playthrough of Bastion with these in. At first, the audio is just so well balanced, like I really felt immersed in that world. But then also the, the voice of the narrator in that game, if you never played that game the narrator is a huge like critical part of the story to that game and his audio comes through crystal clear and this was actually the theme of like any game i try these with even with mario kart you know all the music playing and stuff that music's a huge part of that game it's so pleasing and this is what's blown my mind about these earbuds for 50 dollars you're getting a bluetooth signal that has like a, a pretty much unnoticeable latency now for battery life with game mode on, I was getting about four and a half to five hours per single charge of the earbuds, which I think is absolutely insane. Now, as I mentioned, they did claim a full 20 hours of playtime with the charging case. Wasn't able to fully test that, but uh, I've already gone through like three charging cycles with this, so I think it's gonna be pretty accurate. As far as comfort goes, if you're used to AirPods that don't have the rubber tips on them, these are gonna feel right at home to you. The plastic is a little bit softer, and to me, I think they're a little bit lighter weight, so they're gonna disappear pretty quick. Plus, you don't have to jam them in your ear to get good audio. But the only thing to be aware of is that they don't have rubber tips, so that plastic is gonna be rubbing right up against your ear. I don't really just have like a ton of graps for this product. Uh, as I mentioned, the first thing is the case. I, I hate that it's a gloss black uh, it shows like everything fingerprints grime dog hair it's all gonna show on this I really really wish they would have gone with the matte black for the case and then the controls on the earbuds you don't really get like any type of solid feedback to know if you're doing the right thing or doing the right gestures for them so like when I go to change the volume I frequently pause the music or pause my podcast things like that 
It's a little annoying, but then also there's just so many controls to learn. Like I, I constantly have to reference back to the book so I can even remember what controls do what and because they both have different controls per earbud. Lastly, they won't connect to multiple devices at once, or at least I can't get my pair to, which means if you're playing on your Switch and you want to connect to your phone, you're going to have to disconnect, which kind of sucks because it, it, it would be really nice to be able to answer like a phone call while you're playing gaming, you know, crap like that. If you're a Switch user and you're looking for a really good set of wireless earbuds, these are ones I definitely recommend putting on your radar. The price for what these offer is just absolutely insane. They're low latency, very small package, they look good, and they charge super easily. And I think they're just a really good alternative to AirPods, especially if you're like you're an Android user or maybe you just want an extra pair for work or something like that. I think they're solid. Now they do have some other variants like an AirPods Pro style. They have like uh, Google Pixel Bud style, like a ton of different options out there. I can't attest to any of those, but these I for sure will give my recommendation to. So there you have it, the Soundpeats Air 3. Fantastic little earbuds. These really have impressed me. I, like, I'm blown away by them. Once again, though, links will be down in the description if you want to check them out for yourself. And until the next one, happy gaming.